Images. You can hardly imagine any website online without an image. Almost every page that you visit online will contain an image. Let's see how the image element works within Brizzy. Within the page builder, I will add a new blank block so we can work from scratch. And here you have the two columns that come in by default within any new block that you create. Let's drag the image element in, go to add elements, and you will see it's in the second line. It is the first selection over here. Click and drag and drop it. If you click on it, you will see the options toolbar appear at the top. All the way to the left, you will get all the settings for the image. Click on that. And the first thing we will do is just bring in an image so we see how that works. Over here where it says image, you will see the little cloud with the upload. Click on that and go into your media library. Click the image that you want to select and then upload that. I've chosen this image because I've made it for the very specific purpose to show you how we work with images within Brizzy. Within the dialog box here, you will see there's a little selector. This is your focus point. If I grab it and drag it all the way to the top, you will see I can move the focus point on where the page will focus when this image is loaded. Doesn't matter how the image is scaled or what kind of device it displays on. I will leave it here so we can see the model very clearly. If you wanted to zoom in on the image, you can click the slider here and zoom in, but no need for us in this instance. So we just leave it there on default. Let's get out of that and I'm going to click anywhere on the page so we can play around a little bit with what we've got here. You will see that I have these two arrows here because they indicate all the way from the left to the right, the dimensions of the image. I click again on it. Let me just show you quickly. You will see this is the full image in its aspect ratio, arrows at the top and left and right. And the reason I'm showing you this is because you can see that we brought in the image and it is at its full width, but not its full height. And here are those things that you have to learn about images within Brizzy. The container width, which is this blue column, determines the width of the image at 100%. So the image will always stretch to the width of the container 100%. So from left to right, you will get full width of your image. Let me grab the handle of the column and drag it and you will see the image actually shrinks to keep the width from left to right as full width of the image. But how do I get this image to display the arrows at the top and the bottom so I can have the original aspect ratio? Click on it and you see these little dots appear. These are draggable handles. I'm going to click on this one, click and drag it like this. And you see as I drag it, the arrow comes in because my focus point is at the top. Then I drag it more and then here. Over here, the moment you start seeing these arrows go out of frame, you know you've gone over the 100%, like so. So you scale it down a little bit and try to get it in uh, uh, there. Of course, at this point, you are probably like, no, come on, that, that's way too much work. And I'm just showing you how that works so you can understand how to scale and work with the image. If you want to bring the image in in its aspect ratio, of course, there's a much easier way. Let me do that again for you from scratch. I'm going to delete it. Let's drag this column just again there to the middle and we go through it again. Grab the image, drag it in and drop it. Then scale it to the width you want it to be. First, I have to bring in the image, click and select and then scale the width. So let's say we want it to cover 33%. You see the heads up display there. And now all you need to do is go to the settings. You will see height over here. Double click on that and type in 100% and you will get your full aspect ratio display of the image. And you can see the arrows fit in very, very nicely. And that's how you work with images in terms of their scaling and dimension. We can click on it also and you can grab the corner handles to reduce the size of it. And you will see that corresponds up here to the size, which is now at 54%. If you want to bring it back at 100%, you slide it up. And that 100% is the width of the column container. If you want the image to extend beyond the column container, you go here and you click on zoom. You grab the slider and that's how you will achieve that. Now you know how to scale the image to get it to the right aspect ratio and to play around with the dimensions. Let's see what else do we have here. Let's go to the settings 
and you can also apply corners to the image. And if you want to have more control over the corners, you go here, corner, with the dot, 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 and you can lessen the extent to which those corners are rounded. This, of course, if you take it all the way to the right, allows you to create a circular image like this that's very popular for maybe testimonials. We don't want that. Let's just take it back to our sharp corners and put it again at 100% so we can work with that image. A few more things, and you can find this here on the image settings, are the filters. Filters will change the hue. You can change the saturation to make it black and white. If you want to put it back, you just type in there again 100%. You can play around with the darkness, brightness, and let's put it on 100%. And then you have contrast. If you want to flatten the look a little bit, or you want to make it more a little bit contrasty, bleach it out, let's put it back at 100%. Those are the filters. One more feature in the image is open in Lightbox. If you click this and you activate the Lightbox, let's save our work control command S, or you just click here in the bottom right-hand corner on update, and then let's view it on the front end. Now, when I hover over the image on the front end, you will see it's a little magnifying glass that appears. And if I click on it, it opens a Lightbox. And that's what the Lightbox function is all about. Very nifty. This also allows you to play around and do a lot with images. I can grab this image and I can duplicate it and it will appear under it. Now I can start building up a very interesting collage of images. I can bring in another image over here and let's choose one from our list over here. And then what I can do is I can duplicate this column. Like so, and then we can Duplicate that three times, and then we change the images here. We just switch them out to other images. I'm just choosing some images here randomly to show you how you can do this. And then for this one, let's uh, drag it in like that. And let's get it there at the bottom of the line. And then for this one, let's do it again like so, and make this one bigger and change these images and the top one as well with another image. Let's choose this bridge over here. And look how quickly I had built up a very nice looking collage. Oh, of course, the images don't match, but the collage idea is there. And this is all the flexibility you could ever need in working with images. This makes the image element one of the most powerful tools in your website building kit with Brizzy. Always improving, always getting better. For other tutorials on the elements, please subscribe here to our YouTube channel. We are releasing new videos weekly, even daily, and then also for conversation and ideas, meet us on Facebook community and visit our website at brizzy.io.